But I'll tell you something. The Zimbabwean health minister recently came out and charged that the government has now come to the conclusion because of information from Zimbabwe intelligence and Zimbabwe scientific experts that it seems that though as though germ warfare is being waged right. on Zimbabwe. Right. Germ warfare. Yes. If you know our history mm -hmm. right. and if you are a responsible and intelligent African in this time, you would not doubt mm -hmm. that these people would use right. germ warfare yeah. against us. Right. They have done it before and they will do it again. found in the Limpopo River. The Limpopo River, a huge, massive river that flows from Pretoria in South Africa, yeah. past the borders of Mozambique, yeah. sorry, Botswana, mm. Zimbabwe, through Mozambique and empties itself into the African uh, Ocean, mm. with normally the Indian Ocean. Right. What Indian Ocean? Mm. Have you seen a map, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Do you know where the Indian Ocean is? Yeah. Where is India? <laughs> How is that ocean called the Indian Ocean? Yeah. When the, the biggest land mass close to that ocean, or uh, which is in that ocean, is Africa, right. the continent of Africa. Right. But why do they call it the Indian Ocean? That is to define us out of existence. Right. Right. Yeah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yes. Because we are not supposed to be a historical entity that told us we have no history. We're not supposed to be a cultural entity that told us we have no culture. Right. We're not supposed to be a geographical entity they told us we have no land that belongs to us. Are you all with me? Yes. These are liars. These people distort reality. Is everybody with me? Yes. How are my brothers and sisters feeling this afternoon? Are you listening to me carefully? Yes. Now, where did that cholera come from? into the Limpopo River that feeds the tributaries that supplies the water for most of Southern Africa. Mugabe, Zanapia, where did it come from? These are questions that you and I need to concern ourselves with, right. brothers and sisters. We've had epidemics in this country, mad cow disease, yeah. Yeah. Foot and mouth. Foot and mouth. Mm -hmm. Salmonella. Salmonella poisoning. Yeah. Blue tongue. What? Blue tongue. Blue tongue. Yeah. Then let's make a bucket of something when I'm ready. Blue tongue. Foot and mouth. Hand and nose. Hand and cow. <laughs> Foul. Well, bird flu. <laughs> MRS in the hospital. Yeah. yeah, you go to the hospital <laughs> to take out your tonsils. You end up dead from MRS. Or what we don't call it. RSA, what? MRSA, that, that's the one. If, if MRSA don't kill you, someone else will kill you. Yes, he's calling. All you're going to take out the tonsil. And you still not take out the tonsil yet. You are with me? Yeah. Have you ever heard anyone blaming the Prime Minister of the country? No. Or the head of state, Queen Elizabeth, so called? Elizabeth II, yeah. no. who earns, listen, listen, for those of you who love to talk about corrupt African governments Come on. and these African leaders who are earning millions, and yes, we have some corrupt people in leadership in Africa, but look at how they got there yeah. and look at who protects them right. when they get there. Yeah. You all with me, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yourself with the fact that we live in a country.
country where the head of state earns, from my research, 300 million pounds per day. 300, listen to me, brother. 300 million a day. And yet, there are 13 million British people in this country who are living below the poverty line. This includes three and a half million children going to bed every night in this country hungry. And some two and a half million elder, elderly people, pensioners, who are going to bed hungry, dying of hypothermia. You never hear them talking about that. There are no African leaders in Africa who earn 300 million pounds a day, I can tell you that. Right. You all with me? Yeah. That's what we need to concern ourselves with. When we sit down with our families and they take all this misguided information from, the, from BBC and Sky News and the rest, and come in your face for corrupt African leaders. I want you to mash up the cliche and talk about the corrupt African leader right here in this country. You are with me. European leader. Robert Mugabe killing his own people. He's killing 3,500 people a week. Half the population have left already. Yeah, half the population left. 12 million population, by the way. Half of them left over the last 10 years. 3,500 a day being killed. A quarter some from HIV, AIDS. Some migrate. Right? I'm done talking about the migration already. Nobody left. And still the population is 12 million. The mathematics is wrong there, brothers and sisters, don't you think? Yeah. It's still up people there. Let's think about it, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe, the lie them, them I tell you, and what them not tell you. And let me deal very quickly with what them not tell you, brothers and sisters. And what them not tell you is that Zimbabwe stands as a beacon and a bastion of African revolution in Africa. Who is not afraid to stand up yes. and look in the eyes yes. of Europe yes. and America yes. and say you will not rule yes. this country. Yes. We have sovereignty. Yes. And I answer to the people of Zimbabwe. Yes. That's the issue. Yeah. Robert Mugabe was considered their friend until the people of Zimbabwe decided We've waited long enough yeah. for the redistribution of our land that we fought.